Saxton. Here we go. One more time. Great white checkered. Here comes Pulliam. He dives down low off turn number four. White flag. Big trouble down at Peyton Sellers gets through it. Pulliam and Matt Bolin against the wall down in turn number one. One heck of a 75 lap race. Five to 83 got together down a turn. Lee Poyam has walked down to the Matt Bolin automobile. Both went in the corner. And are up against the outside retaining wall. Pull him out of his car, Matt Bolin out of his car. Oh, you got some turn number one. Again, Lee Pulliam and Matt Bolin. In the 57 car. Pace car will dive on pit road. It'll be green, white, checkered, two laps. Peyton Sellers leads Austin Thaxton, Bruce Anderson. Leaders down the back straight away to three. Sellers looking for win number four. And he's going to take the checkers. Peyton Sellers, car number 99. Thaxton second, Anderson third. I think every car that started this race has got some cosmetic damage at least and some have more than others, but still a great run for you to get up here and get a podium finish here tonight at South Balls. Yeah, I tell you, you know, two, two top fives for the Patrick Henry Community College, racingcollege.com. It's a pretty good night for us. Well, nothing too impressive about that second race there. You know, I hate it. So many cars got, got tore up, but usually we're on that end of the stick. We're the ones that get tore up. So we took advantage of it tonight. Um, you know, congratulations to Peyton and Austin get a good run. And it's just hard for me to be real excited about this because when this many good race cars get tore up this late in the race, it's no sense in it. I mean, these guys work real hard on their cars. And, um, you know, I'm just glad to finish. I'll be honest with you. I uh, can't say enough about my guys, all these guys back here. They're actually supposed to be on summer break right now. And uh, they decided to come racing with us. And uh, that's dedication. And, and they're showing where they want their future to be. And that's in motorsports. And they chose a good place to do it at Patrick Henry Community College. So just real excited to have them. Spain Hour Diner, uh, Charles Anderson Lawn Care Service, Aqua Pros, um, uh, Common Grounds, Old Dominion University. Sorry about that. Been a long night. But uh, good night for us. Not too impressive. But we'll keep working on it and see what happens next time. Good deal. Bruce Anderson with two top five finishes here tonight. Austin Thaxton has a nice comeback from what could have been uh, not a good night in his second race, but all in all, two good races for Austin Thaxton tonight to be able to come back and finish second. Oh, yeah, you know, it was a good points night. Um, we got, got spun around there a little bit. Um, uh, you know, on his initial start, we had a pretty good car. Um, then on restart, got jacked up, but I believe we had some for 99 there, you know, just, um, you know, just – disappointed the way that turned out but uh you know it felt like we should have won but um thank you to my team my crew my family uh, my sponsors you know everybody um we got some work to do this week to get it uh get it put back together but um hopefully we'll we'll go back to good and uh come back over here and win next week see you soon good run austin thaxton coming home with two fine finishes here tonight
South Boston Speedway with podium finishes. We go to Victory Lane. Peyton Sellers is missing part of his race car, but he's in Victory Lane here tonight at South Boston Speedway. Fourth win of the 2014 season. And again, I need Daniel Moss, Joey Throckmorton, if you're still here, to report to Victory Lane. Memorial weekend. We got more racing coming up. How about it? For Peyton Sellers, heck of a night, and it was a wild one for sure, especially that second one, which couldn't quite get this race finished, but uh, I know you were thinking about the sheet metal on the left rear and all that stuff and maybe having to come down pit road, but you're able to stay out, stay in, stay, stay up on the steering wheel for those restarts, and you come home with your fourth win. You know, I'll take it any way we can get it, no doubt about it. Uh, Matt was a little better than we were, and Lee looked like he was coming on pretty strong. I don't know if those guys had better tires or what, but our car was just kind of solid tonight. We missed it a little bit in the first race and uh, for any second. Overall, a good night. I just got to thank these troops for being out here, for doing what they do so we can have this freedom for this weekend. I just encourage everybody to get out to church in the morning and relax all day Monday, and uh, we got some work to do. We'll be working, trying to get ready to go to Motor Mile Friday. So, uh, man, it's a big night for me. Tony Keene, he called that last restart. He said, I said, Tony, you reckon I ought to pick you inside here and see what Matt and Lee do? He said, all day long. So uh, I just stuck it in there low. I was kind of a lame duck at that point when Matt kind of got into me. And then I guess Lee got into me on that restart there when McCarty had him pushed up. It knocked my toe in way out. So I was kind of a lame duck. But at the end of the day, it was good enough. I, I got some wedge in the car and got it off the corner straight. But um, take it any way we can get it, man. Good Lord bless us. Got to thank St. Lawrence Radiology, Damel Toyota, AR Bodies, Skills USA, uh, Trophy and Science Center, and this track. These fans right here, they uh, half the fans is cheering, half of them's booing, but that's what we want. We want them to make noise, whatever it takes. And